Have you ever wondered why identical twins, despite having the same DNA, may have some differences in, in appearances or health indicators or biomarkers? Have you ever wondered why certain lifestyle changes can possibly improve your health or negative lifestyle can make your health worse despite having DNA that says otherwise? We're going to discuss and unravel the exciting area of epigenetics. And we're here with Tony Pemberton, the founder of Epic Genetics, kind of a play on the words, Epic Genetics, Epic Genetics, who is certified in reviewing lifestyle changes around epigenetics and, and kind of unraveling the mysteries of, 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 your, of your DNA as, as, a, as a health coach, essentially. Is that right, Tony? Exactly, yeah. yeah. Okay, why don't you tell everyone a little bit more in more depth? What, what you... They say around 80, 90% of lifestyle, your longevity, your health is lifestyle related than your genes. Even higher with cancer, it's around 97% of cancer is lifestyle versus your genetics. So you're not pre-programmed. That's what most people believe. You know, you blame it on, oh, it's in my genes if I'm obese, or you get cancer, you think you're predetermined for it. But in reality, most of it is down to lifestyle. So it's interesting. I was telling you, I, I just had a genetics test done. I had a, um, I went through Nebula Health to get the raw data. And uh, it gives you a, a report. Yeah, there's some interesting finds on there. Some of it said I had a high, 99% high probability of an elevated APOB. So I think that's would be linked to elevated LDL and this mm. APOB pillar protein, which may, there's still data that's not quite certain, may affect uh, cardiovascular health or potentially uh, longevity. But there are things I guess I could do exercise diet that may be able to bring that down so i don't know if you're familiar with that but the one thing i discovered was how my hormones linked with cholesterol i've always had high cholesterol in the past which would make sense because that's high apillar protein b sure yeah. and it turns out i said uh, i looked up what could lower apob do you, do you know what some of the items are no so statins but who wants to be on the statin right sure. psk9 inhibitors is this really expensive injection that lowers ldl but also apob by 50 percent and the third one was potentially thyroid hormone so exogenous okay. thyroid hormone if you're deficient lowers ldl and can also lower uh, apob so i guess that ties into what you do the epigenetics and lifestyle changes may help overcome some of your genetics so i guess your future isn't written in stone you can you can change it potentially yeah for sure yeah i mean like myself for example i've got a higher risk of macular degeneration okay. but in reality i've managed to reverse it by 5.7 years just from some lifestyle changes you know the right antioxidants just little things like that and then funny enough my sister she was at an even higher risk of macular degeneration the genetics her epigenetic played out to the lifestyle and it was massively older than her chronological age so there is links to it but again you're they're, they're the saying you know your your genes load the gun but it's your choices that pull the trigger so let's break it down so i've heard the your, your dna is likened to to the, the blueprint right the architectural mm. map of what you're going to build yeah but then i guess the epigenetics is what the actual materials or builders that, that you use yeah so or? it's the expression of that gene so your eye cell or your skin cell that has the same dna code the epigenetics is controlling how that gene is you know being turned on and off each each individual gene and that's what determines it and as you get older those genes become methylated and they don't function properly and then that's when they kind of break down and they don't produce you know these enzymes or proteins as efficiently so by controlling these doing these different lifestyle changes you can overcome potentially bad, bad genetics yeah so uh, i guess where do people contact you epic genetics uh, yeah, epigenetics. Oh, sorry, e epic genetics. Epic genetics. <laughs> yeah, get that it's, one it's right. a tongue Dark twister. UK. Yeah. So because I had a look, and it's it's an interesting site where they can see you in the metro. Recently, you, you appeared, I think, uh, a couple of weeks ago. You can find the article online. That's it. So, yeah, yeah. So yeah, let everyone know if if you've tried anti-aging regimens or if you've had your, your genes tested, let us know in the comments what you thought about it. If you've done epic, uh, epigenetic or use epic genetics, let us know what your experience have been and uh, and we're happy to, you'll answer some of the comments too, won't you? Because you, yeah. you've got your own YouTube channel as well uh, that out. we were on, Epic. Yeah, The Enhanced Man. The Enhanced Man, that's right. So um, I was happy to be on your channel as well. Don't uh, forget to like and subscribe to the video because that really helps helps us get found on, on YouTube more so that we can get the word out about you know hormone optimization, health, and longevity. So thanks again, and we'll see you next time.
Thank you.